Hey everyone, this is Judy with JLB Crafts. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, thank you so much for giving me a try. In this video, I'm going to be setting up the April monthly view in my catch-all planner. So this catches all, all the household stuff. So, um, like birthdays, um, my family's birthdays, my husband's family's birthdays, appointments that take one of us out of the house now that we're retired and we're both home a lot. Um, these weird one-off appointments, non-recurring appointments, um, those go here, bills, that kind of stuff. So it, I've seen a lot of questions, um, what is a catch-all planner? It catches all the miscellaneous stuff. So I have a separate social media planner, none of that goes here. I have a separate wellness and fitness planner, nothing like that goes here, no symptoms, nothing like that. So this catches all the rest of the stuff. I I believe in only writing things once. Who has time to put things in more than one place? So I have very distinct buckets for my different planners and things only go in one bucket. They can't go in two different buckets. So if you think of it like that, it'll make it very clear down the road when you're trying to find something, you'll know for sure which bucket to look in. So just make some decisions and don't overlap. Okay, enough about what a catch-all planner is and my, my thought process on it. So I am going to, last year for April, a couple of years in a row for April, I did um, rain, April showers bring May flowers, but it's also kind of like when the cherry trees are blooming, which is it, the Japanese word is sakura. Um, there are sakura festivals all over Japan. Uh, I've been there for them and it's just beautiful and amazing. Our um, cherry tree in our backyard is blooming right now. So they're blooming on the capital. So I'm going with sakura this year. It's about the only year where, or only time where I really look forward to pink and think about pink. So I went through my stash. I have, these are ancient. I've probably had them for a couple years. They're sticko and they're thick. They're dimensional stickers, but I'll show you how we're going to deal with that. It's pretty easy. I also have these freebies from you guys have seen me use lots of times before fat cat designs I discovered them um, they were in the planner boss collective sale so I got this I have loved hello sit kitty since I was a tiny little girl I had a pen pal when I was in elementary school she was from Japan and she sent me a bubblegum scented hello kitty eraser that was when hello kitty went on my radar and I have loved hello kitty ever since so I definitely, this was the freebie when you hit a certain purchase level, PBC freebie, and you got this. Um, so these are stickers. And as you can see then later on, she offered an entire sheet of Hello Kitty stickers. And you can see the little cherry blossoms, sakuras. And then I also got this, I think this was a freebie as well. It's like, it's more of a vinyl, but I really don't have anything I wanna stick it to. So I'm gonna put it up here. I'm gonna build a little scene, a little sakura scene with these branches. And all dimensional stickers are, they take super thin little, they take multiple copies of the same sticker. And they take little tiny bits of foam and overlap them. So you can peel these apart. And so for example, this tree has a thicker spot here and a thicker spot here, this tree branch. So I can peel this off and underneath you'll see it looks exactly the same. So now it's flat and I can use it. See the two little pieces of foam on the back of that sticker? I can peel those off and now I have this as another copy of the sticker. So it's actually kind of cool because you get multiple copies of the same sticker that way and it's not gonna stick. These are ancient, so. Um, but then these, this peels, if carefully, peels right off. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing there, but see I just peeled that little bit off pretty easily. They're not super high tack, at least not anymore. These have been in my stash, like I said, for years. But that just peels right off and now I have a second super flat sticker. So at first I thought I would use all of them, but when I take apart all the doubles, then I have more than I could possibly use. So we'll save those for another spread. So let's get started. I also have one of the Simply Gilded Passport Washi Tapes. This is Cherry Blossom in Tokyo, which I was living in Tokyo on the Meguro River, which is the river that you see um, when the cherry blossoms start to fall. You can't even, it just, it becomes literally a carpet of pink running through the center of Tokyo with cement on both sides. It's crazy interesting. I'll have to try to find a picture 
and insert here for you to see it. But so what I'm going to do, since we have, um, we go all the way to the end of the month with the days, but we have this blank, this empty bunch here. I'm going to put the Tokyo scenery across the empty days. And then I'm going to put Hello Kitty here. And then I'm going to put a couple of these branches coming in from the sides. So let's get going with all that. And I want to layer, I want Hello Kitty to be over top of Japan, the big Hello Kitty. And then I want the tree branch to be over Hello Kitty so that it looks like she's kind of bounding out, just having fun playing amidst the the cherry blossoms. So we're gonna start by putting this down here. And this way I can put a quote or something over it. And I haven't decided, do I wanna go, I think I do wanna go across the gap. Why not? I'm just gonna trim out, hand trim out these two little punches real quick. Since they're only partially covered, I can do that. I do have a coupon code in my description box, if you sign up for um, Simply Gilded's No Spam newsletter, using that code, you get $5 off a purchase of $15 or more, and I get that same coupon. So um, feel free. And it is a No Spam newsletter. I've subscribed for probably a year and a half now. And the only time I pay attention to the emails I get from her, because the only time I get an email is when there's a sale or a new release, and it's really awesome. So, all right. So what I'm going to do, I've got one, let's see, on this sheet there are three long branches and a couple shorter branches. So I want to, well first of all, let's go ahead and co cover up notes. There we go. All right. So let's figure out, I'm just trying to miss Sunday. Not that it really matters, it's okay. So that one can go there. That'll work really nice. So just, put, just tuck it right up into the corner. And then if I want to put Hello Kitty under it, maybe I should put a short one there and put long, 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 since I'm going to add Hello Kitty. Yeah, see that can mostly miss. If I put that one there, it'll mostly miss Wednesday and Thursday. And then this one can go here. It'll go, oh, that's what, I was gonna put a short one here so that it didn't co cover up um, part of the first, like this. All right, let's do that. So let's see, one there, cause that's an empty day. So one there, one there, those two, okay. That's those two, this one. Can this one go, yep, this one can go here. All right, let's do it. So I'm just going to stick the full 3D layer on and then we can peel off the doubles once it's in place. Like I said, it's covering up Thursday, Wednesday and Thursday a tiny little bit, but I'm not too worried about it. Okay, so this is a double thickness. We'll peel this off. And then I can use these with a little tape runner if I want for additional decoration around the spread. Um, this is a double. Now I could leave these double thick if I wanted to, if I didn't mind the thickness in my planner, but I don't really want that. And then this one is double thick. So I'm going to go ahead and speed this up while I put the rest of the four branches on. Long, let's see, short, long, long, and pull all the doubles off. And then I'll be, actually, I'm going to put I need to put that Hello Kitty vinyl on. So I want to try to arrange it with the branch so that it covers up that white out. All right, so I'll be back. I'm going to work on this and I will be back. Oh, I like that. That's so pretty. I really like that. Okay. Um, let's see. I also, so I have several things going on, but I wanted to get some decoration up there so that I could help um, pick, make my color decisions. So 
um, John's teaching a class, there's a birthday, um, those kinds of things. So let's go ahead, oh, and my recycle bins. I always forget my recycle and trash. So the fifth is recycle. So now I can pick the right colors of pink. And these are from Planner Kate, just rainbow recycle bins. I have on her Etsy shop, I have Planner Kate linked in the description box. Let's do a couple different shades of pink. There we go. And then we'll put trashes on there. So I have pulled that, the um, pastel mega book, because it's got some nice gray trash cans in there. There we go. All right, and then John works on the 21st, so let's find a, 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 I have one bill I need to worry about now and his work day. So I know there are, here we go, pay bill on. Let's grab, let's grab this slightly stronger shade of pink. Since there are so many different shades of pink in there, I can go with lots of different ones. So we'll go with a stronger one there. I'm gonna put it up just in case I decide I wanna put some more washi tape across the bottom. There we go. And then let's find a work sticker. Here we go, work schedule. Um, so I want a different shade of pink, so we'll use this lighter pink here. Let me get my Rolodex full of sticker bits. So um, some of these, there are my full moon stickers. These are from Wilson Wild. I will link these in the description box. Full moon in April is um, the pink moon. That, that is fitting on the 16th. So let's put that one on there. It's just a fun thing to keep track of. And then I do have some tiny little houses. These are from either the mom book or the essential planning book. I can't remember, but I use those to um, denote that this bill is the uh, mortgage or house payment, whatever rent payment, whatever you have. There we go. All right, I think that's all I needed of those. I'm not going to, I'm going to cover up the date because obvious, well, no, it's not due on the 29th. It just comes out of our account on the last Friday of the month. So I do have holiday on here because that is Earth Day and that's not marked. So I want to go ahead and mark that. So I have this Chrissy Ann Designs. This is the seasonal sticker book. It's got all four seasons in it and it's got some more, some of those more fun, um, slightly more obscure holidays that um, uh, don't result in like the banks and stuff and the mail um, carriers being closed but and I believe was there I might have that might have been the Earth Day sticker and I already used it I believe that is the case so I'm gonna have to go find a different sticker um, let's see here spring bucket list there was a sticker in pink I wanted to use haha <laughs> April showers bring my flowers and I also pulled a bunch of Girl Boss Anna, um, ah, and they're running away from me, pink swishies so I could build an ombre stack up and put one of the Amber Plans Her Day black and white clear quotes on here from, for spring. So, But I wanted to use this April Showers Bring My Flowers because it's pink and because normally when I do a rain spread, I don't use pink. So this is a great opportunity to have that color make sense for that quote. Um, let's see. Mom of the Year. I wanted Easter, but I don't want the Bible Easter ones. There we go. Easter is the only time when it's perfect, when it's perfectly safe to put all your eggs in one basket. That is so super cute. Um, I, long story short, years ago, there was a big company in Ohio called Longa Burger Baskets, and I was their R&D stain and dye engineer, and that was a very common joke for us about putting eggs in baskets because we made baskets. So, <laughs> um, anyway, so I, I just, I kind of like that quote. Um, I'm thinking what I'll do is do my ombre down here with this quote on it, and then use this M more solid hit right here in the center and that'll be pretty much it so let's go ahead and build that 
So again, I will speed this up. Oh, also, um, I am still a PR rep for Girl Boss Anna that goes through June. And then I apply again. But anyway, my code, you get 10% off if you use the code Judy, J-U-D-I, 10. So have at it. She has gone full time, and which is great news. Um, we're super stoked about that. She's going to have more and more designs coming, which is awesome. So, but like I said, Judy 10 will get you 10% off. So this should, it always takes way more of those than I expect. I guess because they overlap a little bit. Oh yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> so pretty. Okay, I think that might be, oh, there was there an Earth Day quote in here? Reduce, reuse, recycle. Um, the earth is what we have in common. I could put one of these on Earth Day, actually. Maybe I'll do that. Is there one? Even though it'll take up the whole box, I don't have anything else on there. So I think I'll go ahead. And I would put, I would put swishies under it. Um, but I don't know if the blue and green, maybe I'll put blue under it because there is some blue in the washi tape. I don't really think I want to bring green in. Yeah, let me pause this and grab some more swishies. Okay, so I did pull blue because I feel like Earth Day needs to be blue and green or at least blue. So let's put a couple of these on here to make my holiday spot. I know it's kind of a rainy gray blue, but I wanted to try to match that blue. So, oh my gosh, come off of there. There we go. Perfect. Well, that fits in that space nice. There we go. All right, so there's Earth Day marked. So let's see. So Gemstone Day is actually the day my husband and I met. We actually met online back way back in 1996. 96? Yeah. And the name of the game we were playing online back then, it was all text-based and it was called Gemstone. And so we celebrate that day. And so I love to pull Stargazer and Soft Geode to look for little stones to use. So let's, I, I want a couple boxes. Um, let's see, I need, is there an appointment sticker I can use? So John, I'm excited because he's teaching a class and he hasn't done that before. So, uh, I, th I think there are appointment stickers in here. Banners, those would work. Here we go, appointment. That's a little bit big. What, where, when. Let's use this one. He's teaching a painting class. That's a first time for that, so. Okay, and then I have two birthdays and gemstone days, so. Are there small? Oh, here's calendar. Are there pink ones? Purple. There's a couple pink ones. Do I want to take up the entire? I could use one for gemstone day. Um, is that purple though? That looks purple. That looks kind of purple. I want pink. Big circles. Are there small circles? Oh, here's some small circles. Of course, I used pink. I used the two pinks. Here's some boxes. I don't want rainbows. I might have to pull a boxes book. There's some more small circles. No pink ones, though. There's a pink. There's two pink ones. I kind of don't want round, though. I don't know why. Okay. The only thing would be that one with the heart. It did, I can't tell if that's pink or purple. <laughs> Is that weird? I guess that's purple. So this, I guess, is pink. Does it look weird with the shades of pink? I guess it kind of goes with that. So let's go ahead and use it. I never use these. Um, yeah, that looks okay. See what I mean about putting your decoration on there to help set your color scheme? Yeah, that looks fine. That looks fine. Okay. Um, 
I can see if there are two. I could use a blue one for John's birthday and a pink one for my sister's birthday. Does, is that too stereotypical to use blue for a boy and pink for a girl? I'm going to do it. Because I've got blue there and I've got blue there, I could use more blue. So this is a very bright book. I think I'll use these two. Blue and really hot pink. But there's a little hot pink in those flowers, so... Okay, there's my sister's birthday. These are a tiny bit narrower, so I want to try to center it a little bit better. There we go. And this birthday, and that is everything functional then. I don't mark all the holidays like Easter and stuff. I marked this one just because it's not printed on there and I don't want to forget it. So, all right. Oh, so let's put a, a couple gemstones on there. Um, Normally I think of the, like the little, these, but I think gemstone, right? That's diamonds and whatnot. So maybe these would be better. Although they aren't pink. I think purple could be okay. Oh, here we go. I mean, it's gold, but that's okay. I just want to scatter a few of these on there. We'll go with the really super tiny one. They look clear because they match exactly. I'll just put a little pile of gemstones all across the bottom. That game, incidentally, is still in existence, crazily enough. I can't believe they don't have an app, though. I would totally play it, get sucked in and play it um, if they had an app. But they're just online, so I'm not going to sit at my computer. I'll play it on my phone, but they don't have an app. So, okay. So that is it. Um, oh, what was I going to put there? I was going to put April showers, bring May flowers. There we go. And then I can just, I think I will scatter those, put some glue on those. Yeah, that's cute. This is a lot of pink, like pink overload. So I think I'll scatter these around in some of the spaces. Oh, I didn't use a single Hello Kitty other than that one. Maybe I should put a little Hello Kitty down here in the corner. I just kind of don't have a lot of room for them, you know? Um, I kind of like this one. Let's put her down there in the corner. And we'll put, we have her a couple flowers. Because if something comes up, then I still have room to fit something in there. So let's get, I'm going to get my wax paper and I'll speed this up. You can fast forward to the very end. But I'm just going to put, attempt to put some glue on the back of these teeny tiny little flowers. Um, some tape runner and spread them around. So... But that's pretty much all I have left at this point. So if you want to skip to the end and see what it looks like on the pink discs, go for it. Otherwise, I'll be back. That's it. Um, let me put it on the pink disc so you can see how it looks. There we go. There is my Hello Kitty Sakura April monthly view. Um, I hope you like this video. I hope it encourages you to decorate your monthly view if you aren't. I say if, if it can't run away from you, put a sticker on it. So <laughs> if you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing. Thank you. Thank you.